Well, I guess a, a couple sentence definition of sustainable development would be that we manage our community affairs in ways that promote the quality of environmental resources, air, water, soil, that help our ecosystems, our natural world, sustain all the free services that they provide for human society. And as part of this, also including the element of providing beauty and places where people can reflect and contemplate and meditate on the spiritual dimensions of life. These are among the things that our faith compels us really to help make our communities maybe a little bit better place to live. The origins of our community garden here are quite fascinating to me. The Jefferson County Community Ministries set up a food committee. They started discussing how to make more nutritious food affordable for people on limited food budgets. Our purpose is to provide food, clothing, and limited financial assistance for such things as um, utility terminations, rent evictions, automobile gasoline, heating and cooking fuel and medicine, and occasionally an emergency shelter. We draw our support from, right now, about 52 different churches, including the Baha'i Spiritual Group. So it was through our friendships and the network of people that we know and who know us that we got invitation to participate in this food committee. And at the same time, the mayor had come to us talking about starting a community garden and asking if we would be interested. There's a small strip of land immediately adjacent to the Baha'i Center here. It's an alleyway that the city owns and they were willing to lease this alleyway to Jefferson Community Ministries for the purpose of this vegetable garden with some of us in the Baha'i community and, and other partners kind of providing some of the, the technical know-how. The garden is designed to help people stretch their food budget and also to begin to eat more healthy. They haven't yet figured out how to grow chocolate chip cookies, but through prayer and hope, maybe that'll happen too. <laughs> well, I like to eat, so uh, when I seen that it was a vegetable garden, I was all for it. Every plant, everything that comes from the fruits of our labor, I guess, are given to the homeless, given to those that are in need and those that can't work during these trying times. I've been fortunate enough to have been the mayor for 28 years. When I first came here, there were several industries that were in town that employed a lot of people. Well, over time, as industry started to move out of, uh, certainly out of the United States and into various other countries, slowly but surely these companies dissolved themselves and either moved elsewhere or stopped producing altogether. Well, my definition of a sustainable community would be what it is that we're on the verge of creating right now, where we're reaching out to everyone who has an opportunity to be here, our responsibility as a community is to provide opportunities for them to participate to whatever extent they're willing to participate and encourage them to do things that will not only help themselves but they'll be beneficial to the entire community. The Baha'i Faith has provided an opportunity for people to participate. Well, this is a really remarkable community. You know, I like to think of it as a community in transition to becoming a living example of a community where we care for each other and at the same time care for the environment. And I think we're on the road. In these urban gardening initiatives that we're seeing blossoming around our country, a lot of people are discovering it's more about people than gardening and uh, there's so much potential in our communities as far as building human understanding and human relationships. 
and coming to understand our spiritual connectedness, both with the, each other and with the, with the environment. Gardens are used and throughout our, the writings of our faith as metaphors. They provide the context in the material world for understanding fine-tuned relationships that one sees in a natural environment or in a garden that we maintain. By pursuing that, we allow the Creator to help us make our lives just a little bit better and a little easier and a little more productive.